while since I did a vlog of any kind. I've been a little bit busy. Uh, last time was after Lapland. So now I'm basically just trying to get back into the rhythm of doing things. Uh, we have Mother's Day coming up. So I have four Mother's Day cards I have to do here today. These are three that are not yet finished and there is one right now here in front of me that I'm going to tackle right now. Uh, I'm not sure how much of these I'm going to film for you guys, um, but at least you're going to see some of the progress for them. And then after that, I'm going to see what else I have left on my roster of things to do. But for now, let's get started on these.
So now it's a bit later in the day. I managed to paint two of the Mother's Day cards. I'm a bit sweaty, sorry, that's why I'm scrubbing my face, I'm not being weird. So I painted two of the Mother's Day cards. I still have two to go, which I will most likely do. That, 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 that. I cannot talk. What, what just. Bleh. Anyway, I'll do the other two most likely tomorrow. Uh, just because I cannot sit still and, and do the details on the fur and things like that. For some reason, my patience just ran out. But, um, and the other footage that you have now seen or will be seeing, I'm not sure I'm gonna put this together yet. Um, I was working on my jewelry. I have a whole bunch more that I have now put together. I just need to photograph it this weekend and then I will list them on my Etsy. So if you guys are interested in any of those, uh, just hang on a bit. I'm, I'm gonna I'm a put those up at some point. just quickly show you um, kind of like uh, my planner here of what I have planned for myself um, just because I do have a plan I just don't I'm not very quick with following through just because I don't really have time but uh, yeah let's do a quick run through of that that thing yeah so this bad boy here is basically what I use to plan out projects and things I would like to do uh, this was actually originally intended for my PhD research. Um, I was going to do something on monsters versus beasts, but anyway, didn't get very far. So I've now repurposed this journal and then I have all kinds of projects listed here uh, that are in the works or need to be started. So um, I have my children's stories that I have here, uh, how far they are, so basically the artwork here for each of them. and. Um, the script here and how far it is. So there's only one that has a complete script and artwork isn't complete for any of them. And then I'd like to do a zine at some point about my two cats. These are some stickers I would like to have printed up to put in my Etsy store. But that takes time and money and I have neither at the moment. So here we go, we have um, YouTube projects that I had going and all of these are now complete. These are my Inspired By series. And these were my sketchbook series, as you can see here. Uh, there's still one I'd like to do of character sketching, and then I still want to come some, come up. Blah, blah, blah. Speak properly. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to come up with some other ideas, which is why I have all this blank space here. But then over here we have 
projects that I'd actually like to do, like challenges and things. So like the three market challenge, blah, blah, blah. Inktober, I already have that on my um, list. Why do I have Inktober? Inktober? What's Inktober? Anyway, then um, obviously I'm busy doing the 52 week illustration challenge right now. And then there are some other ones that I'd also like to do. This year I'm not doing Mermaid just because I'm doing the 52 week illustration challenge. So yeah, I, I'm just not. I can take on um, Inktober, Inktober, but I'm not gonna do anything else. Well, maybe no November, as I have it listed here, if I can come up with ideas. I don't know yet, let's see. But anyway, those are some ideas. And then I was going to rebrand my stuff here. Uh, done lots of it, I updated my banners and stuff like that. Uh, channel animation done, blah, 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 my jewelry. Um, still here, I need to get some prints and stickers and new business cards. And I, I'd like to redo my, my little logo that I have. Right now it's my two cats of um, Boogie and my other cat, Lossie, that passed away, but I'd like to update that one. Here are the projects I've been working on. Every year I have to do birthday cards, so here are currently the cards that I am either working on or have finished. And this does not include the list of Christmas cards. And other ones that I'm sure I'm forgetting as well. There's, there, there's a load. And here are the prompts for the 52 week illustration challenge for 2018. We are now in week 18 right now. So blanket, and I haven't started yet. And I should, because I have to paint that this weekend. But yeah. So these are all of those prompts, and then I mark them off as I go along so I can keep track. And it carries on over there. And I'd like to redo one of my children's stories that I have finished, and then I want to publish through Amazon. Here is my Inktober list. Um, I'm not doing like the typical Halloween thing. I know lots of people like that, and it's fine. But because I'm also doing the 52 week illustration challenge, those weeks pop up in the middle of October, naturally. And they're not very scary, like solar system slow, childlike, every day, and Brazil. Not much horror or Halloween-y stuff in there. So I figured I'd throw in the Halloween-esque stuff towards the end of the month here. And then the rest would just be general things that happen in October, or that I just like. But anyway, so that's everything that I have in this book for now. As you can see, I still have plenty of room to fill it up. Um, and it's just my way of keeping organized, and I, I like that. So that was just a quick glimpse into how I basically plan my stuff out. Are the finished pieces of what I was working on uh, earlier in the video where I was busy putting the findings on and um, the pinch bales and so on. So these guys are almost all ready. Some of them, like this guy over here is waiting for its partner. I have to finish that one up and this guy as well. But the rest I'm basically just gonna put some chains on uh, if it doesn't already have and then set those up in my Etsy shop. So you see one you like just uh, let me know and I will throw that one in there for you. These guys are still in their uh, hardening process so they're not quite ready for Etsy yet. I haven't put any holes into them and I haven't put together their findings so these guys are still gonna sit until the weekend and then I'll start attaching things. Where are you going? Stay with the group. And then I have these guys which are beautiful orchids. But I'm thinking of gifting these to somebody. I won't say who. And then here I have pieces that are finished completely and ready to go up. Most of these with the orchid pieces that you see in here are already on my Etsy. Uh, the larger oval ones though have not been listed yet, so I'm gonna throw those up. 
fairly soon. So be on the lookout for those. And then also, if you notice that there's something missing here, uh, most of these earrings are already up on Etsy. Uh, there's just some new ones here on the right side, uh, like those guys and some of these. These are new. Um, so I have to list those and you can check those out. And if you like them, you can go ahead and buy them from my Etsy shop. But yeah, so that is what I have been doing and there are more coming. There are still some being uh, dried out, busy kept, like casting, no, <laughs> curing. Speak English. Okay. So they're busy curing right now and then I'm going to let them sit like these guys off to the side for a while. Uh, and then I'm also going to drill some holes and put the jewelry in. Uh, I don't have anything in gold right now, I just have sterling silver, but I'm thinking of maybe getting gold parts for future. Maybe. Anybody interested? Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm loving how these are coming out. By the way, I pick all these flowers myself. And uh, if you're wondering what this big guy is here, and that one, and those greeny weenies. They are lichen from trees, aka tree moss. Come on camera, please focus. 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 Sweet Mary Bob, come on, focus. boy. There you go. All right. <laughs> so that is what it looks like. I love it, I think it's really pretty. And um, like this fella over here. Come on, camera. Play nice now. Okay, there we go. So this one, a teardrop shape. Really cute. I love the natural shape of the lichen. Tree moss. And then those fellas over there. And then, of course, we have things like this, which are pansies, aka violets. Really cute, really pretty. And those are just hanging out until they're ready for their findings. Anyway, so that's that. Sorry for technical difficulties. Moving on. today's vlog I thought I would show you guys a bit of how I do my setup for my photography for my Etsy. Um, I am now going to lay out my piece of jewelry and take some photographs. Um, I still actually kind of have to decide which ones are going to have chains and which are not so I still kind of have to sort that bit out first but anyway that's what I'm gonna do today and um, ones like this one this one's already up in my Etsy, if you're interested, it's a little or uh, orchid bud, a purple orchid. And, um, yeah, so, here we have the rest of them, ready for some photography, so let's get started on that.
it guys. Um, I didn't do all of the pieces that I would have liked to photograph because I ran out of 16 inch change like this one. I like them fairly short so it's a nice statement piece on the top of the chest. I do have some 24 inch and 26 inch chains as well um, but I feel that they hang a little bit too low for those smaller pieces so I'm gonna have to wait for those smaller chains to come in before I can photograph the other pieces which is a pity because there are some really great ones still waiting to be photographed. But apart from that, that's it for this vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I hope you've um, enjoyed a quick glimpse into how I actually make my jewelry stuff. Um, I know I didn't show too much of the actual process of the making of that, uh, but if anybody asks, I'm more than happy to put a video up about that. Um, but yeah, this was just a video about basically doodles and crafting and uh, what I do with my time. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I like those kind of videos. I don't know if you guys do. I find them interesting. If you'd like to know about any of the materials that I use, uh, both in my artwork or in my crafting, just leave a message down below. Um, and that's about it, I guess. Yeah, I think that's it. Anyway, it's Sunday here and uh, I kind of want a break. So I'm going to edit and upload the photos to Etsy and uh, put those guys in my shop. So if you guys are interested, you can go to my Etsy shop. The link is in the description box below, so please check that out. And then I will finish editing this guy and shoot that off into YouTube land. But anyway, thanks so much guys. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, this tour, trip, adventure thing with me. And I'll be back with a new vlog at some point, eventually, down the line thing. Alright guys, have a good Sunday. See ya!